Hey everyone, it's Amy and welcome back to my channel and a very happy new year to everyone. It's 2019, the January is upon us, but first I want to address the elephant in the room, which is that this video was meant to be uploaded yesterday and one of my New Year's resolutions was to upload all of my videos on time. One day into 2019 and I am already a failure. Can we just put that behind us and pretend that it never happened and just give me a second chance? Because I know that I can do this, you guys. I know that I can. Anyway, for those of you who didn't already know, I am taking part in Veganuary this year and every Tuesday, obviously other than this week, I'm going to be uploading a video related to Veganuary and my vegan experience. Today's video is kind of going to be an introduction to this whole thing, so I'm going to be talking about what is Veganuary, why have I decided to do this, what am I looking forward to, and what am I scared to death about. So if you are interested in learning about what is in store for me this month, then just keep watching. First, before I talk about anything else, I want to take a second for my t-shirt, please. That's right, we've got some adorable farm animals. I love this, I think it is so adorable, and it is available on the Eco Oddball website, which I will link down below. 10% of all the profits go towards conservation projects, so that's great. And I mean, it's just cute, so, you know. Firstly, I just want to say that I am fully aware that veganism is a very touchy subject for a lot of people. People get very defensive about what they eat, both in the vegan camp and in the meat-eating camp and in everything in between. I am not here to tell you that you should be vegan. I am not even here to tell you that I should be vegan. This is just something that I am testing out. I want the comment section to stay nice. Please. Please. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about today is what is Veganuary? Some of you might already be familiar with the concept of Veganuary, some of you may have never heard of it before in your lives, so I'm just going to give kind of an overview of what it is. Veganuary is an organisation, I actually think that it's a registered charity as well. It's set up out of the UK and it encourages people to go vegan for January. Going vegan, because I did get asked this on my New Year's resolutions video when I talked about Veganuary, January. If you didn't know, being vegan means that not only do you not eat any meat, because I've been vegetarian for a while now, I haven't eaten meat, except that one time with the shrimp that we do not talk about. Okay? It means that you don't eat any dairy or eggs or any animal produce. That is a vegan diet. There is also a lot of things that go on around that, like not using cosmetics that have animal produce in them, like not using shampoos, conditioner, laundry detergent, anything that has anything to do with an animal, essentially. So far, an estimated 2.66 million people in Britain alone have decided to go vegan for January. That is immense. And obviously, as we get into like January a little further, more people might decide, you know what, I've heard about this, maybe I'll get on board. Over 2 million people just in Britain. How crazy is that? The next question, which is the big one, is why are you doing this? Why are you going to give up cheese, girl? Cheese is awesome. People, I know that cheese is awesome. I know this. I'm aware. But I do have my reasons, and I feel like they are good reasons. My first reason, and this was my big reason for going vegetarian, is because of the environmental impact. According to Oxford researchers, going vegan is the single most impactful thing that you can do to help the environment. Forget about cars, forget about packaging, forget about flying. Being vegan, that is the best thing that you can do to reduce environmental impact. That is huge. The next reason is for the animals. I never considered myself to be an animal person until I went vegetarian or until I started the process of becoming vegetarian because I didn't go vegetarian overnight. I started watching all these documentaries. I mean, once I watched Cowspiracy, that was it. I was down the rabbit hole and I started to watch um, Food Inc., What the Health. 
I watched the documentary on YouTube called Vegan. I watched all these different documentaries and suddenly I just became the most compassionate animal person from nowhere. You tend to think about farms and just think like, yeah, that's the circle of life, particularly when you're thinking about things like eggs and dairy because chickens lay eggs, cows produce milk, that just is. But what you don't really think about is that we are not living in this kind of like beautiful, like idyllic agricultural dream where the cows are like wandering around the fields and the chickens are, like skipping around the place. We are talking about mass factory farming. And once you start to get into understanding what actually goes on in these factory farms, is uncomfortable. So that is another big reason for me for trying out Veganuary. And the third reason is for my own personal health and well-being. On the one hand, knowing that every time I sit down that there is no cruelty gone into the food that I'm eating is just going to make me feel mentally fantastic. I won't have that conflict, I won't have that guilt. And on the other hand, there's been so much research to suggest that a whole foods plant-based diet is the best thing for humans, that I kind of feel like, hey, I wanna live. That sounds great. When you really sit down and think about it, is it normal to be drinking the milk of a cow? Would you drink the milk of a dog? I don't know, it just seems strange. You never really question it, but when you do, you think, how can that be healthy? So those are all the things that are kind of going on in my head that have led me to this decision. Like I said, I gave up drinking milk and eating eggs a long time ago. There is still the thing with the cheese, but mostly we're talking when I go out to restaurants, what I'm eating is not vegan. When I eat processed food, it is not vegan. It will contain milk or eggs or, I don't know, cheese, whatever. So that is where I have been. When I'm cooking my own meals at home, they are pretty much, yeah, they're all vegan because I never buy cheese in Bahrain because it's not the same. I never buy milk, I never buy eggs. So when I'm cooking at home, it's vegan anyway. So this experiment is just gonna take us one step further to say when I go out to a restaurant, when I am buying packaged processed food, which I know is not good for me anyway, but I am a human and I have, you know, unhealthy needs, that then I'm going to have to stop and think, okay, what is actually in this? But the final question is, what are my fears and my concerns going forward into this? And one of the things that I'm concerned about is not so much what am I going to eat, because like I said, I cook pretty much mostly vegan at home anyway, but more, what is my life going to be like? because I can't just call into somewhere if I'm hungry and sit down at a cafe and find something to eat, you know, off the cuff. I'm not gonna be able to go out with my friends without looking ahead at the restaurant and making sure that there are vegan options. My issue is when I go back to Bahrain, it's going to be even harder because veganism, not so much of a thing there. So that is my really big concern. And one other thing that I am kind of nervous about is just making sure that I get enough nutrients and enough calories. Because obviously when you're eating mostly fruits and vegetables and like obviously grains and pasta and rice and that kind of thing, you're not getting as many calories in for the amount of food that you're eating. So I'm gonna have to make sure that I eat enough. But on the whole, this is something that I am really excited about. It is something that I've been thinking about for a long time. It's not just like I woke up yesterday and I was like, hey, I think I'll be vegan today. It's something that I've really put a lot of thought and research into and everybody's different. There are going to be people who wake up one day and they're like, I'm vegan and they never look back and good for them, but I, cannot operate that way. So for me, Veganuary is a way to dip my toes in, see how it goes, see how feasible it is for me living in the Middle East. I mean, it's different than it is living in the UK. And then just like, assess, see, continue to improve and work towards 
being a better person. I'm rambling now, that's what's happening. One more thing that I wanna say that I am really excited about is that I've started a thread on my Facebook page. So if you haven't already, go ahead, mosey over to my Facebook page, I'll link it down below, and there is a whole Veganuary thread where we can join if you guys are vegan or if you're doing Veganuary or even if you just wanna learn a little bit more about it, where we can get together as a little community and share tips and tricks or ask questions because I kind of feel a little bit out of the loop. I feel a little bit like on my own because I don't know any vegans. So I thought that that would be a nice way for us to get together and and, and and learn things, I don't know. So I would love if you would go and join me over there because otherwise I'll just be asking questions to myself which will not be productive. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already to become a member of the Oddball family. And go ahead and leave some comments for me down below. Are you guys trying out Veganuary? Are you vegan already? Do you have any tips for me? That would be great. But like I said at the start, please, let's just keep it nice. I've seen the comment section on vegan videos on YouTube, but they're not nice. Let's keep this one nice. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember that I love you all so, so much, and I will see you all soon. Bye!